Man, I hope you are ready to do my assisted band workout. It's an assisted band workout because we're going to do primarily all assisted exercises. Everything's going to be assisted. We're going to go for 30 seconds on, 15 seconds recovery. Now, obviously, you can change that. You can go 40 seconds, 50 seconds. Push yourself as much as you want. My suggestion is that you try to shoot for 40 to 50 seconds so that you really develop good neuromuscular patterning with these assisted exercises. Let's go ahead. Let's get it started. I'm going to start my clock. We're going to start in 15 seconds. First exercise we're going to do is an assisted push-up. We're going to go on down. We're going to put ourselves in this position. We're going to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, and let's go. Now, while you're doing the push-up, Notice, I can really keep my elbows in tight. I can really train myself to do a very solid push-up. You can get as fancy as you want. You can go ahead and do Spider-Man push-ups. You can do walking push-ups. You can do any variation of push-ups that you want. The fun thing is, these are all advanced exercises that make push-ups a lot more fun. Let's get out of there. Let's go to pull-ups. We're gonna drop down here. We're gonna just grab the bar here and we're gonna start doing our pull-ups. Assisted pull-ups. Nothing wrong with hanging. Remember, hook the foot on top of the other foot. Keep the knee bent. Pull yourself up. Squeeze them out. Man, pull-ups with a band make you feel so much stronger being able to do them. And the more reps you can get in, and the better quality stability you can use, the better you're going to like it. Nice job. Let's go ahead. Let's get out of that. Let's get into vertical, vertical presses. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the band at our hips, but we're going to get into a vertical position. And we're going to do vertical presses. Now the key is here, put your head right between your hands. If you want to get fancier, put the foot up. Start pressing there. Switch legs when you want to. Press up, get one more. Good job. Hey, the last one before we go into our recovery exercise, pillars. Let's get down. Pillar stabilization. Just lock out. Hey, you can go ahead and do some more advanced pillar work. You can go ahead, try to stabilize and do your dead bug exercises where you're stabilizing and working stability what's really cool is as you're holding it here you get a sense for where you need to stabilize and tighten up great way to go ahead and really work pillars one leg two leg hold mountain climber all of those are variations time to recover now we're going to go into our recovery exercise and we're going to go ahead and while we're recovering we're going to work on flexibility so we're going to work on assistant lunges in both directions so that we learn how to lengthen our body out while we're recovering. It's an easy assisted exercise, so it allows you to recover. It's a lower body exercise, so it allows you to recover. And it's going to work on flexibility, which honestly, we can't get enough flexibility training and stability training in our workouts. When you're done there, hey, switch it to a different movement this time. Recover, going into an overhead press, reach, or just stay there and just reach it back and open up that hip. Switch sides if you want to. Drop it down. Really accentuate that hip. Open it up. And there you go. Recovery's done. Let's get back into the exercise again. 
and let's start on all over. You choose 30, 40, 50 seconds. What's really cool is you can go ahead and really load up the time because you're working assistance. It's a fun, assisted workout. Enjoy yourself.